surrounded by all of the gifts that you have all sent me. Uh, Capone and I are enjoying Christmas morning. So this video is going to have a couple things in it. Um, number one, I'm going to go through a, a thank you of everybody who sent me gifts. And uh, hopefully, uh, it took me a couple days to kind of sort through everything and make a list <laughs> and dial and, and, uh, and record everything. So I hope I get everything. Um, but look at everything. And this is just part of it. I mean, this is just what I put on my bed this morning. There is stuff outside. There's stuff already put in cupboards. And I'm going to go through and personally thank everybody for the gifts that they sent and I am just so grateful for you for that. Also at the end I'm going to announce the winner of the boondocking weekend for all of you who shared my videos with the hashtag boondock after the video um, that I posted the other day. So I'm going to uh, announce the winner of the person who's going to get to join a couple patrons and a couple friends uh, and me uh, for a boondocking weekend on January 5th. Before we move on with gifts though I want to talk about about last night's video. Uh, that was a hard video to post and for those of you who haven't seen it, it was titled Christmas is Sad, hashtag me too. Uh, it's a topic that I have been wanting to talk about for a long time, especially with everything that has been going on in the media. And uh, the Me Too movement has gotten pretty um, uh, pretty big. And a lot of women actually have been able to read between the lines and have written to me and asked me to do a video on it. And of course, I had to wait until I felt ready and really think it through and, and talk it through even <laughs> uh, to make sure I was going to be okay with that much exposure. And I thought I was ready, and uh, I first posted it to Patreon, and uh, to to see to get their feedback. And then about an hour later, I made it live on YouTube. And I think about a half hour in, I panicked and pulled it and made it private. And five minutes later, I went back <laughs> after reading the comments and put it put it on. And then I pulled it again, and then I put it on. Um, I it, it was a little. Uh, it, it was hard for me to share that much about myself. The reason I chose to do it was not to necessarily tell my story, but I just had a feeling that other people needed to hear it. Uh, and not just the Me Too message. I felt that the whole message of the video about Christmas being sad needed um, I thought that there was going to be an audience for that. Last year I did the video about being alone on Christmas and I talked about many of us being misfits and never feeling like we fit into society and that we were different and especially around this time of year when there's so much emphasis on oh it's so happy oh it's the holidays and oh it's joyous and oh let's spend 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 and you know all that crap that goes <laughs> with the commercialization of the holiday um, and I, that video was, was actually really really um, well received and when I when I when I shot the video yesterday it was completely from the heart I honestly didn't know what I was gonna say you know I'm mean, kinda worked it around in my mind but when I watched it and I saw the how raw it was and it was really scary for me to think about posting that I the underlying message the underlying feeling that I got was I think some people are gonna need to see this I think some people are really going to understand and I think that there are going to be people who this is going to comfort today. And in the end, that's why I decided to post it. And wow, uh, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away by the comments. Within an hour, it had 4,500 views and hundreds of comments. I think it's got over 20,000 views when I woke up this morning in just a little over 12 hours. And thousands of comments and the private emails. I had a feeling that I thought a few of us misfits, and you know I'm starting to realize we're not so misfit. We're more average and more common than we were led to believe by our silence. So basically I just want to say... I see now that was an important video for many people um, to not feel so alone today and I am so freaking proud of you for sharing your stories with me and those of you who 
have written to me in private and, and are struggling with your stories and haven't talked about them and haven't gone public with them, don't feel pressure. Wait, don't do it now because it'll, it'll, um, I learned that the hard way, you know, and the, uh, there was a time when I told everybody everything and, uh, my therapist taught me to recognize what feeling overexposed feels like. And that can have, um, uh, the opposite reaction that you want it to. So don't do anything until you're ready to do it. Don't talk about it until you're ready to talk about it, whether it's abuse or sexual abuse or me too, or whatever. Um, just really talk it through with somebody that you trust, a therapist, a priest, a pastor, a parent, or a friend, somebody that you trust and work, do the work. You have to work before you're ready to talk about it. And sometimes, like a couple other women who wrote to me, and men, I never heard of the Men Too movement, and um, I'm really touched by the number of men who are talking openly about their own stories. That really gives me hope. I talk a lot about the misogyny that I see, but the men here in my audience, I uh, just, you're amazing. So are, you're amazing. Uh, I've said before that I really believe that both the men and the women of my audience are the cream of the crop. And uh, yesterday's email, or I'm sorry, yesterday's video was more proof that you are the cream of the crop. You're not afraid to talk about the hard issues. You're not afraid to dive deep inside to f face the things that hurt you and to move on. And that's really what my message is about. It's not wallowing. You know, I, a couple people I had to delete yesterday said, I'm out, I'm sick of your whining. And the people who view it as whining don't understand that it's a process of talking, diving deep inside yourself and exploring, discovering, being curious, being willing to change. And I see that in so many of you. And I'm so proud of you. And I'm so proud of the audience that I have. And I just want to say thank you for being here. And I hope all of you find some peace, happiness. I know it's going to be a rough day for a lot of people. And I know for some people it's just going to be a blah day. Um, gosh, but I'm glad that we all have each other. Read the comments and re see the community there. I really, yesterday when I was reading the comments, I'm like, I wish we could all just meet right now and just have a giant bonfire with eggnog and have our own Christmas together. Uh, and if we can't do that in real life, and I know <laughs> that's a contradiction to what I usually say, but I felt that much warmth and, com and compassion and uh, connection with you guys yesterday. Uh, boy, just one big giant island of misfit, not so misfit toys. Okay, just uh, thank you all for your courage Thank you all for your encouragement. Uh, you are the ones who have given me the strength and the inspiration to share my story. And by sharing my story, I really got to see yesterday all the people that it helped. So thank you also for telling me that it helped. So before we open gifts, I also have gotten a couple gotten messages from people who apologize for not being able to be on Patreon, for um, not being able to send me gifts. I don't know how to say enough that I don't expect any of that from anybody. I don't expect gifts. I don't expect people to pay for Patreon. Uh, I just want you to know that I am happy you're here. Whether you comment or not, uh, you know, the thumbs up is actually a really good measure for me. Uh, there were a couple videos recently, I've gotten 3,000 thumbs up and maybe 1,000 comments and of course, you know, 30, 40,000 views. So um, the thumbs up, the views, let me know that you're there and let me know that you're interested, that you're invested, and I appreciate that. You don't have to say anything. You don't even have to thumbs up, although I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and you certainly don't have to pay or send me gifts to be a part of my friendly community. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, uh, here, can I give you a hug? Oh. <laughs> That's my big virtual bear hug today. I'm feeling really mushy. <laughs> really rare for me. I'm normally not a very emotional or a very mushy person, and I'm definitely feeling it today. So big bear hug. Mwah. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. What do you say? Say thank you, viewers. Want to say thank you, viewers? Merry Christmas. Right? <laughs> Look at that! Look at all the treats Capone got! Look at all the treats Capone got! <gasps> How about the salmon jerky? Yeah, you like the salmon jerky, don't you?
You can have it. You can have it. He's <laughs> like, is this a trick? <laughs> yeah. What is it? What do you think? Do you viewers love you? Yeah. Say thank you, YouTubers. Thank you, viewers. Merry Christmas. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're such a good boy. <gasps> How's that? Oh, that's good stuff, isn't it? It's good stuff, isn't it? Want more? You're such a good boy. You made out like a bandit, didn't you? What do you think? Oh, <laughs> you are so good. You are so good. Y you can have it. Take it. Take it. Take Where's one, one of the peanut butter ones? <gasps> Look at all the treats you got. <gasps> Look at all the treats you got. Oh my gosh, look! Look! <gasps> They're all grain, grain free and salmon and peanut butter, all your favorite stuff. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, we have some nice viewers, don't we? Thank you all so much. I am humbled and honored and just beside myself with your generosity. The fact that so many people I've never met care enough to shop and send me something and think about me uh, when for years my family hasn't. <laughs> I just, I, I, you know, oh, it's a little overwhelming. So I'm going to go through every gift that I got and I want to say thank you personally to each and every one of you. Uh, Amazon allowed me to send thank yous to those of you who include included slips um, telling me who you are. And unfortunately, not everything came with a slip. So I don't know who some of this stuff is from. And um, I hope that you'll reach out to me and let me know who you are so I can say thank you to you um, in person instead of just a generic thank you. And I also want to say I know I'm going to have a lot of questions from other viewers about some of this stuff and so uh, in the description of this video there is a link to my my Amazon influencer page and so from now on in order to make my life a little bit easier what I'm gonna do is just add everything to my Amazon influencer page and that is a page that lists all of my favorite things all the things that I need to live in an RV my camera equipment and um, I've included all the gifts that I got today in case any of you want to look them up in case you want to buy them of course you can purchase purchase them through my Amazon affiliate link and that helps me as well. So, all right, somebody sent me <laughs> and this is all that's left. <laughs> I shared them with friends, okay? Nelly's Organics candy bars. Oh my God, these things are so good. Um, I discovered them at a Trader Joe's and they are amazing. So I added them to my Amazon list and uh, it, they came in a package of uh, nine, I think. And I did share them with friends, but they're all gone. They were so good. So thank you. I don't know who sent me these. They didn't come with a slip, but thank you. Also, my kombucha. Thank you so much. I don't know who sent this either. It didn't come with a slip, but I got a whole case of kombucha, which I love this stuff. It's so good. It's, um, you know, sparkly. It's, it's only a little sweet. It's not too sweet. So thank you so much. Whoever sent me the kombucha. Linda and Bubba, thank you for the cozy socks. I love them. Nice wool socks. Thank you. My feet are happy. <laughs> Dina, thank you for the handmade afghan. It is so soft. I love this. I have been using it when I curl up at night in bed to read. It has been awesome. I love this. Thank you so much, Dina. Catherine sent me some awesome soy, all natural aromathy, aromatherapy what else? Essential oil candles. This one is holiday spice and I've already been burning it. I love it. And a beautiful lavender one. This is awesome. I love lavender. So relaxing. Thank you, Catherine. And from my friend Lynn, I got these really cool microwave um, bowl cozies and there's like three or four different sizes in here. I haven't opened them yet. These are cozies that you put around the bowl so that you don't burn your hands. So that's really cool. And a 12 volt vacuum cleaner. 
Look at that! <laughs> Yay! Plugs into a, a uh, cigarette lighter outlet, and I don't know who sent this, but thank you so much. It'll keep my new rugs clean. Yay! What, puppy? Yeah, you don't like the vacuum. <laughs> you wanna go outside? He doesn't like the vacuum cleaner. Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? And check this puppy out. <laughs> my outdoor RV mat. This thing is awesome. Thank you so much, Bubba. Dennis. Also some stay put hangers, vent covers, vent insulators, treats for Capone, and socks. So thank you so much. This thing is really cool. It really, especially now that I have an awning, it extends my outdoor space and keeps things clean. So that's awesome. Thank you. And Barb C, thank you so much for the trash can. Holy cow, this thing. My outdoor collapsible garbage. This thing is, oh my gosh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Look at that. So I had talked in a video about my garbage and having to store it up front. And uh, here I don't have to worry about bears. So uh, this outdoor garbage is pretty awesome. Thank you so much. And Linda N, oh my gosh, this just made me smile and tear up. This is so awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your new rig. The words in this book popped into my mind as soon as I read your post. <laughs> oh, the places you'll go. I love it. So thoughtful, thank you. He's guarding all the gifts. Are you guarding the gifts? Yeah? <gasps> yeah? We're still cleaning everything up and trying to organize, aren't we? What do you think? He's wagging his tail. What do you think? And Edie, thank you so much for the coffee grinder. My other one has been on its last legs for months. I broke the plastic cap, so it's been really hard to like jiggle it to get it to work and everything. So this will come in handy for all the Pete's coffee that I got. Thank you so much. And Patricia F, you know who you are. Um, I love care packages. You sent me so many little useful things uh, in your wonderful care package. And I really appreciate your thought that went into it and uh, the thought and the effort. So thank you so much. Mm, lots of good minty candy too. <laughs> thank you, Patricia. Ah, oh my gosh. It smells like Europe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Four pounds of my favorite coffee from Kathy and Judy. Thank you so much. You each send me two pounds and I really appreciate it. My favorite Pete's coffee. Born and brewed in Berkeley, baby. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Evie, for this awesome tablet and the Ralph's gift card to buy Capone some treats. <laughs> we love both, thank you so much. And Dennis in Oregon, thank you so much. Another Dennis who sent me all these gift cards, but I have to admit, I loved the note. Your sense of humor uh, about the fast food really made me laugh. So thank you so much, Dennis. I appreciate this and Capone appreciates it too. Matilda, ooh, uh, she's not Matilda. Oh yeah, her new name. <laughs> My new RV thanks you too. Thank you. And then of course from Flower Child. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of you get me right on and Flower Child you are definitely one, but this awesome card. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm gonna actually hang this up all the time. And the beautiful drawings, look at that. Um, some ideas for t-shirts. I love this idea, so thank you so much. And of course, all the other cards I got. Thank you so much. And a personal letter that touched my heart. Dina, that came with the beautiful handmade afghan. UK, Valerie and Bluebell, thank you so much. Elizabeth from Concord who sent Capone a ton of treats and a pro and a and a toy and uh, shampoo, dog shampoo. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Merry Christmas. And Lori, a beautiful card. How cute is that from Lori? Thank you. And um, Evie, the card that came with the tablet and the gift card. Thank you so much. And a beautiful letter from Rika. Thank you so much. Just warms my heart. And that beautiful letter went with this, which is beautiful. Thank you so much. Handmade, this is what she does. She also made that toy for Capone that he loves. So thank you so much, I love this. Can't wait to find a place to hang it. Thank you, Rika. 
And another card from Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. All right. I just picked the winner for the Boondocking Weekend with me, a few patrons, and a few friends outside of Quartzsite, Arizona on January 5th through January 7th. Are you ready? The winner is from everyone who shared my video and posted the link to the comments section with a hashtag either boondock or shared. The winner is, I'm proud to announce and I can't wait to meet you, I'm free to be me eight. Yay, congratulations, I'm excited. Um, uh, I'm excited to meet you. So what you need to do is email me and you can do that by going to my website, carolinsrvlife.com on the contact page. You can send me a message through the contact page. Uh, so I'll have your email address so that I can send you all the information about um, my camp and uh, what the agenda is. And um, I look forward to meeting you. Congratulations and thank you all so much for, to everyone who uh, shared my videos and entered to win. And stay tuned, there's gonna be more giveaways coming up. Merry Christmas. Can't wait to meet you. I'm free to be me eight. If you sent me a card or a gift and you haven't seen it here today, that's because this was just round one. I know that I have more packages waiting for me at my mail location. These are just the ones that my friends brought to me because they were running out of room in their trailer. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So this was round one. Thank you all so much. It means the world to me. Uh, you know, not the material gifts, but the thought. And it really is true that it's the thought that counts. And the fact that so many of you think about me and uh, want to do something nice for me, it's humbling and it is um, really something else. So thank you all so much for making my Christmas a little bit brighter and knowing that I am loved. Thank you all so much. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you find some peace, happiness, love, even if it's for yourself, and joy. I'll see you next time. Be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah. Big kisses and huge bear hugs, especially to those of you who need it the most. Bye. What's that? What's that? your head. Here. Oh, we haven't done this in a long time. I didn't think you even liked to play with toys anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. All these years I haven't given you toys because you don't play with them and <laughs> look at you now. Oh, oh, big tug of war. Oh, big tug of war. Look at that. Oh, come on. You can do it. Pull, pull. What? What? Here! What? What? Ugh, it's all slobbery. What? Good boy. <laughs>
Oh my god, we have not played tug of war in so long. I didn't think he would do this anymore. Look at that. Look at that. Go get it. He already broke the squeaker in this one. Yeah, you broke the squeaker. You broke the squeaker. <laughs> there you go. Good boy. What a good boy. 